like to see it happen for him. Uh, I, and, and I'll tell you, he's, first of all, he's very likable. Secondly, he's good looking. Secondly, he's good looking. Secondly, he's good looking. Secondly, he's good looking. Jerry West works. I think, I think that's a good analogy. Um, well, I think you're probably right. I think, I, listen, you know LA better than I do, Mon. So, uh, I, but I think, I think you're probably right about that. And I think, you know, Kershaw's at a central cast and he's a, he's a good looking kid in the whole thing. From the studios of WFN, this is Mike Zahn, Francesca on the fan on this football Friday, the, the 19th day of October, so we're moving on. The Vikings, of course, a team that will be tough for them to beat. I just heard Dalvin Cooks out again, which I know is frustrating uh, Minnesota. Uh, but uh, that's a big test for the Jets, the Giants, of course, Monday night against Atlanta. And as always, there's more uh, Beckham. And uh, you know what? Here's where I am with Beckham. Enough. I don't want to hear about him anymore. I don't want to hear. Go out there and play. I don't want to hear today's stupid story about Beckham, okay? About his likes, his dislikes, what he had for breakfast, where he's going this weekend, what movie he watched, okay? How he slept last night, what he tells uh, he, uh, the other players in the huddle. Here's what I want you to do. Be quiet and play football, okay? This team is not all about one wide receiver. It never has been. It never will be. No football team is. The whole team has to play better. Eli has to play better. The offensive line has to play better. The defense has to do better. Everybody has to do better. The special team's got to do better. The coach has got to do better, okay? That's why they're one and five. They're not one and five because any one player. They're one and five because they don't play well as a group. And they don't block, which is a bigger problem than any other problem they have, is their offensive line. They have other problems but that's their main problem and they until they fix that they'll continue to have problems now this week it's a different problem because this is not a team that will expose them on their offensive line this will be much more like the houston game or the carolina game where they will move the ball they'll have trouble stopping atlanta this week because atlanta has plenty of weapons Atlanta has a beat-up defense. It's been completely destroyed by injuries, and they are as desperate or more desperate because more was expected of them than it was expected from the Giants this year. And they still think they're reliable, although the Giants are teetering on the brink. So I just don't want to – I just – really, I'm telling you, I don't want to hear any more about them. I don't care any more about them. Just go out and play. Or don't play. Or leave early and get two IVs or five IVs or ten IVs. I don't care, okay? Or, you know – Drink water, don't drink water. Drink orange juice, drink soda, drink whatever the heck you want. Leave me alone. I'm so tired of hearing about this guy. It's ridiculous. My God, it's, it's, it's so much to do about nothing. It is ridiculous. Now I got to hear a story that's supposed to be a big story that he doesn't like water. Who the hell cares? Give me a break already. Find the end zone. Catch the ball. I got a, a breaking news. Odell doesn't like water. Enough. What he doesn't like is winning. How about doing some of that for a change? Explain to me where that's been all these years he's been here. Where's the winning been? Jeez. Talk about the Jets. They're more worthy of us discussing them right now. I'd rather discuss the Knicks and the Nets than discuss the Giants right now. Let the Giants go out and prove something, do something, before we even talk about them again. I've talked enough about the Giants. Let's talk about the Jets. You know what? They're at least having a season, and they're building something, and they're moving in the right direction, and their young players are trying to be cohesive, and their young quarterback is taking a step forward. And this week is one of those games where they get a chance to elevate their status if they can win a game that, frankly, you know, we don't expect them to win. Minnesota's got better players. Doesn't mean Minnesota's going to beat them, but Minnesota's got better players. Now, they're not complete right now. They got their own issues. 
They haven't been the same on defense since the whole Griffin thing happened. They haven't had Dalvin Cook, which is driving them absolutely mad, to the point where they're starting to whisper things about him not being on the field. Listen, I've never seen that kid not be tough. And he was the one guy I... And then heard people tell rumors about him at the draft, which knocked him down to about the 40th pick or wherever he got picked on the second round. And he was playing like the best back until he tore his knee up that year. Now he hasn't gotten back since, and now it's it's you know now it's muscle pulls. It's not the knee. Now it's hamstrings. But he's got to get himself healthy and on the field because he can't help his team, and you can't be good in this league if you don't play. That's a big part of it. One of the things you got to do is show up. That's what makes LeBron James so great. You know what? He shows up. He shows up every game. He plays major minutes every night. That's what you have to do. That's what Eli Manning's done. He showed up and played every game. Doesn't take games off. Doesn't take plays off. Doesn't take games off. So now Cook's not here, and that's a problem for them. We'll see if it is. So this would be a very good opportunity. This is one of the, listen, the Jets have put themselves in a position where they're at least in the conversation, where they get a chance to prove whether they belong or not. Do I think they belong in the contender group? No, I don't. That's fine. They get a chance to prove they do. Go out and win the game. Do they, is the world going to come to an end if they don't win this game? No. But if they do, they take a step forward, a big step forward. Same thing the Chicago Bears faced this week against New England. Chicago's got to prove it can move up in class and win that game. Until they win a game like that against a team like that, they haven't proved they can do that in this league. Is Chicago improved? Yes. They got better players. They're rebuilding. They got Khalil Mack. Can they go out and win this game? We'll see. feel right he needs the ball the offense works better when you can have him kick the ball to people let him drive and kick be a three-point threat you know he's got to have the ball and operate it's the only time he's happy and that's when the offense works so to have guys who think he's gonna you know you're gonna have him go down and post i can do a lot of that you know i do it once in a while but he's not gonna do a steady diet of it so I don't care who you are as a point guard. You're not working with him unless you can really go off the ball and shoot great and let him be the point guard and you can be another guard. And if you can be a shooting guard, fine. If you can do both, if you can be like Chris Paul, it's fine. You can go over there and shoot. But if you're Rondo or Ball, I don't see that. So I think at first glance, that team's not going to be as good as people think who are predicting 50 wins. I don't see it. I don't see that mix. I don't see it. I think they're going to have some growing pains there. I'm actually, I find this hard to believe, but I'm actually interested in the Knicks and the Nets tonight. I'm interested to see if the Knicks are going to do that again. I know that's crazy. I know it's one game in, and I want to say, and the Nets, will, they'll be well prepared. You know, Kenny does a good job. I'm interested to see if the Knicks play well tonight. I don't know why, but, you know, they they actually shows you how quickly they could grab this city's fancy, how this city would be absolutely just glued to them if they could ever really be good. And the last time I even thought about a Knicks Nets game, where I even cared to even turn it on. So, but I'm interested to see if they do that tonight. And they play the Celtics tomorrow. So, that, I mean, if they won the night, there's something to get tomorrow and have a little juice. It really would. I don't expect them to beat the Celtics, but you know what? You never know. Celtics aren't complete right now. Irving's got to get used to that new look, which is just like, you know, weird. And uh, and he was not nearly ready. I mean, he's, he's going to clang a lot of shots right now. I'm telling you, he did not look that good. But I'm interested to see if they could do it again tonight. I'm fascinated by that. Good to see how it sits out because he has uh, sore legs before the season starts. <laughs> what a dog. I mean, you want that guy on your... I mean, how many teams have to be fooled by this guy? How many teams? You know, it's the old... You know, 
looks like Tarzan plays like Jane. They used to say about guys in the draft. That's Howard. He looks good in the uniform. He's a bum. He doesn't play the first game because his legs are sore. The first game. Nice way to start your new good, good way to join a team. Oh, my legs are sore. I'm not playing the first game. How many times you got to hear this stuff with this guy? I mean, give me a break. Some guys have like 30 lives in this league, in, in, in sports. It's amazing. They can pull this stuff from team. To, this guy's pulled more antics on more teams. It's unbelievable. Secondly, he's good looking. You know, Kershaw's out of central casting. He's a, he's a good looking kid. You know, the whole thing.